you have joined that ODA class. I'm hoping that all of you are pretty much excited for today's session. As you can, something weird little on the slide, right? Why are you the way you are? Ab jaise ho, waise kyu ho? Yes. Have you guys ever wondered why are you the way you are? Janna chahte ho? Do you want to know why are you the way you are? Why sometimes you are very happy, very excited, and sometimes you are very angry, very sad. Okay, and sometimes you are, you know, like the person who fights with everyone, or sometimes you're like over friendly. So why do you get that sudden shift of emotions? Why are you the way you are? Why you can see a lot of, you know, physical changes in your body? So to understand that, we have this chapter, right? Which is all going to deal about the hormonal locha. So before I start the chapter, let me introduce myself. I am Shivani Priya, your master teacher of biology at Oda class, and I have done my post graduation in medicines from BIT Mishra. And over the years, I have been teaching students biology. Okay, so I'm sure you're going to enjoy today's class. So stay connected. These are the topics that we are going to discuss. I'm sure a lot of you are having this chapter in your school examination. So I'm going to give some of the subjective questions also. Take okay? it. So stay connected for the session till end. Right. So in this class today, you will get a lot of questions to attempt. Multiple choice questions. Okay. Where you will get four options to select. You will have to click on the correct option and click on submit option. If you get correct answers, if you give correct answer, you will earn ODA coins. What are ODA coins? Virtual coins, which will help you redeem some of the gift from the ODA app. It's like a voucher. Okay, okay. And after uh, three questions, five, uh, six questions, nine questions, twelve questions, and fifteen questions, you will earn some tags. Okay, like yes, so then Mr. India, Miss India, Miss Universe, like that. You will earn some tags. Like after three questions, you will get the master's tag. Right. So our first target is to get the master tag in the class. Right. So stay connected. Let's get started. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? It's okay, Nishu. Sure. Take care. All the best to everyone. Okay. So first of all, what are hormones? The most important part of this chapter is to understand what are hormones. Hormones are basically chemical substances that act like messenger molecules in your body. What is the meaning of this messenger molecules? They act like substances which will help in transferring messages from one part of the body to another. Not only this, they are also responsible for controlling a lot of your emotions, like happy, sad, angry, annoyed, in love. Right? All these emotions are controlled by these hormones. Some of the hormones are proteinaceous in nature. I mean, so protein ke bane hote hain. ठीक है? So basically, these hormones controls and regulates activities. आपको कंट्रोल और रेगुलेट करते हैं दे कंट्रोल आवर इमोशंस एंड फीलिंग्स लाइक स्ट्रेस एक्साइटमेंट सैडनेस हैप्पीनेस ऑल दीज मूड चेंजेस इमोशनल चेंजेस ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ हॉर्मोन्स ठीक है अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट इट आल्सो कंट्रोल बिहेवियरल एक्टिविटीज लाइक डाइजेशन रेस्पिरेशन स्लीप ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट राइट नाउ यू इन ग्रोइंग एज आप ग्रो कर रहे हो एडोलेसेंट राइट प्यूबर्टी राइट सो यू आर गोइंग थ्रू अ लॉट ऑफ चेंजेस दैट इज बिकॉज ऑफ हॉर्मोन्स कूल एवरीवन हमारे बोलो बेटा प्रिय दर्शनी यू टेल मी What do you think? Yukti Priya, anyone who want to give answer? Yes, Yukti Priya. Uh, because it controls our emotion and everything. Exactly, hormones control our emotions and behavioral activities. That's why we consider them as our boss. They control behavioral activities like reproduction, growth and development, your excretion process, digestion, respiration, sleep. Okay, so all this happens because of hormones. Is it clear? Is it clear? Okay, ठीक है. You know hormones control your sleep cycle. Okay, and because of that, you know 
a healthy person will end up spending one third of their life sleeping. Zindagi ka ek tihai bhag hum sote mein nikal dete hain. But it's not like we are doing something blunder. So that our rest two third of the life works properly, we survive a uh, healthy life, we need to sleep this much. Okay, itna sona bahut zaruri hota hai. And right now, I think a lot of you might be having, you know, a lot of sleep, uh, you know, a lot of... Uh, Times you might feel sleepy all the time, or some of you might not be feeling sleepy at all. ऐसा होता है कि बहुत नींद आती है. You sleep like eight to ten hours, and your parents are like हमेशा सोता रहता है, हमेशा सोते रहती है. Get up, wake up, and are prepared for examinations, right? So basically, this is completely normal. If you are sleeping a lot these times, it's completely normal. It's because of your hormones. It's because of your pubertal age. Okay? Okay. चलिए. ठीक है. ओके ना हार्मोन्स जो होते हैं ना राइट दे सम हार्मोन्स आर जेंडर ओरिएंटेड लाइक सम हार्मोन्स विल बी प्रेजेंट ओनली इन मेल और ओनली इन फीमेल डोमिनेंटली बट सम हार्मोन्स आर नॉन सेक्स हार्मोन्स राइट मींस दे विल बी प्रेजेंट इन बोथ मेल एंड फीमेल सो बेसिकली हार्मोन्स कैन बी सेक्स हार्मोन्स और नॉन सेक्स हार्मोन्स सेक्स हार्मोन्स में मेल हार्मोन इज टेस्टोस्टेरोन ठीक है द प्राइमरी हार्मोन इन मेल इज टेस्टोस्टेरोन एंड द प्राइमरी हार्मोन इन फीमेल इज एस्ट्रोजन But this doesn't mean that females will not have testosterone or male will not have estrogen. These hormones have certain, you know, a physical impact. ठीक है कुछ physical impact होता है like body hairs, right? Body hairs uh, in boys they have you know a good amount of body hairs on their hand or their legs. They have beard, no stack. All this these are because of testosterone, right? So they, if this hormone will be present in females, females will also have body hairs. and that is completely normal if you are a girl who is in growing age and you have lot of body hairs it's completely okay nothing to be ashamed about okay cool theek hai okay theek hai and if you're a boy and if you're not having too much of body hairs not growing mustache right as expected that is also completely okay theek hai it's just some hormonal locha right and estrogen is responsible for some of the feminine features cool theek hai chalo non sex hormones will include growth hormones you are growing you will grow tall hai na lambe ho gaye aap your bone will grow in size because of growth hormone thyroxine insulin adrenaline adrenaline very interesting thing i would like to tell you about adrenaline is called as fight or flight hormone theek hai fight or flight hormone theek hai fight or flight hormone aisa kyun means whenever you are in excitement stress anxiety adrenaline is secreted एड्रेलिन प्रोड्यूस होता है ठीक है लाइक जस्ट इमेजिन अ डॉग इज रनिंग बिहाइंड यू है ना डर के भागोगे ना यू विल रन यस बोलो अगर आपके पीछे एक डॉग दौड़ रहा है तो आप भागोगे है ना एट दैट टाइम यू विल बी स्कर्ड है ना डरे हुए रहोगे स्ट्रेस रहोगे एट दैट टाइम एड्रेलिन इज सेक्रेटेड ठीक है वेन यू आर फाइटिंग विथ सम वन है ना बहुत गुस्से में हो लड़ाई हो बहुत स्ट्रेस हो गया एंग्जाइटी एड्रेलिन इज सेक्रेटेड ठीक है फ्लाइट हॉमोन वेन यू आर रनिंग अवे adrenaline is secreted cool theek hai there is a you know uh, saying also called as adrenaline rush adrenaline rush bolte hain theek hai when you are too much excited for something hai na bahut anxious ho rahe ho to usko adrenaline rush use kiya jata hai word cool chalo let's try to solve some question and then we will continue okay so assertion and reason really really important and unique questions if you are looking forward to write any competitive examinations like olympiads right or could be competitive examination okay or if you are studying in a school where competency based questions can be asked this is a very important question okay so read the options and then answer take your time it's a coin question if you will give give correct answer you will get coins rashmi for continuation of life on earth uh sure is all okay yes you can say sugar rush also i don't know when uh, you are a science student you use adrenaline rush to yeah you can use both very good so sugar rush is basically aisa kehte hain you know like aapne khana khaya and suddenly you feel very much excited so sugar rush 10 more seconds bachcho 10 more seconds assertion 
the changes which occur at adolescence are controlled by hormones true hormones are chemical substances secreted from uh, substances which are secreted from endocrine glands true that okay so both the statements are true basically dono statements sahi hai theek hai dono baatein sahi hai dono statements true hai but re and the reason jo hai na wo correct explanation hai because it is explaining that the changes which occur at adolescence are controlled by hormones which are chemical substances theek hai so basically when you are in adolescent age when you are growing age pubertal age we you, you will have certain glands called as endocrine glands which will control the secretion of hormones now let's talk about glands in detail what are uh, where are hormones from formed hormones are formed from endocrine glands what are these endocrine glands and where are they present so basically they are a part of a body system called as endocrine system right the chemicals the hormones the chemical here refers to hormones these hormones will influence our metabolism your growth emotions mood sexual function and even sleep so these glands jitne bhi glands hote hain hamare body mein all the glands are divided into two categories endocrine glands and exocrine glands now you must understand the meaning of this word crine or crine it means secretion theek hai secretion theek hai try to understand the meaning endo endo means under means inside theek hai endo means inside okay exo exit theek hai exo exit to exit kya ho gaya outside yes exit will be outside now yes bachcho tell me okay kyu ano ki theek hai okay and crine again means secretions okay now iska matlab kya hua ma'am what does this mean this means endocrine glands right this means endocrine glands okay they are the glands which will release the substances that they make that is hormones endocrine glands will release their secretion directly into the blood inside the blood not outside the body theek hai iska jo bhi secretion whatever secretion will be there of endocrine glands it will not be coming outside the body it will be inside the body it will get mixed up in the blood okay and they are ductless gland since they don't need something duct like pipe like structure to pour the things outside it will release the substances inside the body that's why endocrine glands theek hai exocrine it will release the secretion outside the body hamare body ke bahar release karenge theek hai like sweat sweat body ke bahar aata hai na yes you release sweat hai na saliva or pus these things are really uh, released outside the body so it will be needing a small duct like structure so there are glands with duct duct means tube like structure okay tube like structure pipe like structure okay theek hai so like sweat gland sweat gland will release sweat salivary gland saliva sebaceous gland sebum from you know wound and pulse wound uh, pus theek hai okay okay clear theek hai why ano ki clear samajh mein aaya so endo means inside it is secreted inside the body so no duct required ductless gland exo means outside it is secreted outside the body so a duct chahiye hoga is it clear is it clear bolo bachcho samajh mein aaya kya bahut hi badhiya theek hai so do you guys like to try, uh, try some question theek hai i'm repeating one more time endo inside so what it it will release it will release hormones theek hai exo outside so it will release substances like sweat saliva wagera cool chaliye let's try to solve some question read both the option and then answer <clears throat> assertion and reason theek okay? hai first find out whether both are true or false chalo bachcho start now very good <clears throat> 10 more seconds 
if you will stay connected till end of the class you will get lot of oda coins you can collect and i will tell you the use of these coins uh, tomorrow so aaj pehle collect kar lo collect as many as you can okay how many of you can see your name on the leaderboard how many of you can see your name on the screen on the leaderboard yes tell me superb okay if you can see your name on the leaderboard very good one more question you will get master tag theek hai ek aur question aur aapko master tag milega before that let me give you some coins so there's a gift box on your screen click on that wow very good i uh, reman got 14 coins kartik 14 coins balveer 15 coins atharv soni 13 coins that's nice very good okay <clears throat> chalo let's continue right continue kare theek hai one more question would you guys like to do ek aur question karna chahoge to fir ye raha theek hai so two blanks are there you have to fill this blanks with the correct option hormones are produced by what kind of glands okay and these glands are what in nature are they tiny in size lie beside blood vessel ductless ductless okay endocrine exocrine endocrine exocrine you know the meaning of endocrine exocrine okay so endocrine ka meaning ko explain karna chahega anyone who want to come on the mic and explain the meaning of endocrine endocrine glands endocrine glands whatever you want to say so yes beta tell me What is the meaning of endocrine glands? Yes. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Vita. Yes. Ma'am, the meaning of endocrine glands are uh, these glands are which uh, produce their hormones directly in blood vessels. Very but the good. Exo, uh, but the exocrine glands can't do this. Okay. बहुत ही बढ़िया. ठीक है. So your friend already helped you guys. Now try to answer it and answer very carefully. You will get master's tab. <clears throat> Think whether it's endocrine, exocrine, whether it's ductless or tiny in size or what. Ten more seconds. <clears throat> Last ten seconds. I guess I give you a lot of time. Okay. Hormones are produced by endocrine glands. Okay, which are ductless glands. Means they do not have duct. Because they need to release their secretion hormones directly into the blood. वो बाहर नहीं आना है, ठीक है? कभी देखा किसी को hormones बाहर निकलते हुए? क्या रे आज तो मेरे बहुत सारे hormones निकल गए? Could a lot of my hormones came outside? Yes? Anyone? है ना? कभी देखा क्या रे मेरे hormones निकल रहे? No. Right? Sweat, saliva will come outside. Okay? चलो. This is the leaderboard till now. How many of you can see your name on the screen? How many of you can see your name on the leaderboard? बोलो बच्चों. Very good. And how many of you can see now master tag in front of your name? How many of you got the master tag? So congratulations to all the students who got the master tag. And the students who couldn't, it's okay. We will do lot of questions now. Okay, students who got the master tag already, your next tag is going to be challenger, which you will get after six questions. So try to get it as soon as possible. Okay, shall we? Okay, let's continue. Okay, now hormones they are secreted from glands which are located like this in the body. Is it confusing? Hypothalamus, pituitary, pineal, thyroid, parathyroid, thymus, adrenal, kidney, pancreas, ovary, uterus, and testes. है ना? Confusing है? ठीक है. One thing you have to keep in mind: these endocrine glands are present in the main axis of the body. ठीक है. Body के center में present होते हैं. They are not present in the upper and lower limbs. हाथ और पाँव. Upper limbs means this, and lower limbs means this. They are not present over there. ठीक है? हाथ पाँव में नहीं होते हैं. Basically. Cool? ठीक है, ओके, चलो, ठीक है, लेट्स कंटिन्यू, ठीक है, नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस वन, सो इन योर ब्रेन, नीड टू योर ब्रेन वी हैव पिट्यूट्री ग्लैंड, पिट्यूट्री ग्लैंड, चेक आउट द स्पेलिंग, P I T U I T A R Y, पिट्यूट्री ग्लैंड, ओके, इन योर नेक, है ना, इन नेक वी हैव थायराइड एंड पैराथायराइड, 
आई विल एक्सप्लेन इन डिटेल ठीक है एब्डोमेन एरिया में इन द एब्डोमेन एरिया वी हैव एड्रीनल एड्रीनल एंड पैंक्रियास ओके इन द ग्रोइन एरिया मींस द एरिया वेयर द सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्टिव पार्ट्स आर प्रेजेंट वी हैव टेस्टिस एंड ओवरीज ओके इज इट क्लियर एवरीवन बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग इट अ बिट थोड़ा आई विल शो यू अ वीडियो आल्सो ठीक है चलो बहुत ही बढ़िया ओके नाउ हार्मोन्स दे एक्ट ऑन सर्टेन प्लेसेस और ऑर्गन्स सो द प्लेसेस वेयर हार्मोन्स विल एक्ट इट इज कॉल्ड एज टारगेट साइट एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड्स विल रिलीज हार्मोन्स दिस हार्मोन्स कहां आ जाएंगे ब्लड में जाके कहीं तो एक्ट करेंगे ना so the places where they will act is called as target site okay what it is called it is called as target site like from pituitary gland some hormone will release and it will go act on ovaries so ovaries will be the target site theek hai ovaries will start its work theek hai so that is called as target site ki kaam kahan se karega theek hai is it clear chalo let's try to solve a question and then we will continue so some friends are discussing about glands can you find out who is correct So Anushka, Alfiza, and Archie are talking about it. Anushka said, "Two types of glands are there: endocrine and exocrine." Alfiza said, "Endocrine glands are ductless glands," and Archie said, "Endocrine glands release their hormones directly in blood." Or D, all are correct. What do you think, Bachcha? Take your time. Fifth question of the day, or fourth? No, fourth question of the day. Ten more seconds. <coughs> correct answer is D. All of the above are correct. Endocrine glands are ductless gland. They will produce hormones. They will really release hormones. And exocrine glands will release secretions like sweat, saliva, etc. Is it clear? चलो बहुत ही बढ़िया नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द ग्लैंड व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट इन आवर ब्रेन दैट इज पिट्यूटरी ग्लैंड ठीक है पिट्यूटरी के बारे में बातें करते हैं ठीक है सो कैन यू सी दिस ग्रीन स्ट्रक्चर बच्चों क्या आपको ये ग्रीन स्ट्रक्चर दिख रहा है यस दिस इज पिट्यूटरी ग्लैंड ठीक है सो पिट्यूटरी ग्लैंड इज कॉल्ड एज मास्टर ग्लैंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज मास्टर ग्लैंड इट इज कॉल्ड एज मास्टर ग्लैंड बिकॉज़ इट कंट्रोल्स ध्यान से सुनना दिस क्वेश्चन कैन कम फॉर वन मार्क इन योर स्कूल एग्जामिनेशन pituitary gland is called as master gland because it controls it regulates the function of other glands theek hai ye baaki glands ke function ko regulate karta hai control karta hai one mark a question sure shot question theek hai interesting thing is that that this pituitary gland which is very tiny in size it is p shaped ek daane ki tarah hota hai p ke shape ka theek hai it controls the function of glands right and it is present in brain and attached to hypothalamus what is hypothalamus So basically, I call hypothalamus as master blaster gland. ठीक है ये master हो गया ठीक है This is master blaster gland means hypothalamus will control the functioning of pituitary gland. ठीक है This is like grandmaster, है ना This is like father and this is like grandfather. Okay, is it clear? Is it clear? ठीक है Okay. In pituitary gland, there are two parts: anterior part and posterior part. दो part होता है ठीक है कुछ ऐसा ठीक है समथिंग लाइक दिस ओके एंटीरियर एंड पोस्टीरियर पार्ट ठीक है पी शेप लुक एट दिस डायग्राम यू विल गेट एन आइडिया ठीक है सो हियर इट इज पिट्यूटरी ग्लैंड राइट दिस इज हाइपोथैलेमस उससे अटैच्ड है इट इज अटैच्ड टू हाइपोथैलेमस कैन यू गो सी हाइपोथैलेमस कैन यू गो सी ठीक है एंड दिस पार्ट इज पिट्यूटरी ठीक है सो दिस इज एंटीरियर पार्ट दिस इज पोस्टीरियर पीछे वाला पोर्शन ओके एंटीरियर मींस फ्रंट वाला पोर्शन इज इट क्लियर बच्चों इज इट क्लियर ठीक है ओके नाउ What kind of hormone? Pituitary gland is a gland, endocrine gland. So, what kind of hormone it will release? It will release very important growth hormone. In short, we are writing it as GH. So, your growth, your height, after your height, but right now, that is because of this growth hormone secreted by pituitary gland. So, it's really, really important. Okay, and now you must have seen an abrupt change in your height right now. 
नेक्स्ट ईयर तक आप हो सकता है आप में से कुछ लोगों की हाइट बहुत बढ़ जाए ओके व्हाट इज द हाइट ऑफ यू गाइस लाइक फोर फीट फोर पॉइंट फाइव फाइव फीट अप्रोक्सीमेट इन सेंटीमीटर्स आल्सो यू कैन टेल सो यू हैव ग्रोन अ लॉट यू विल ग्रो ग्रो करोगे तो दैट इज बिकॉज ऑफ ग्रोथ हार्मोन ठीक है है ना सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव ओके आई टोल्ड यू ऑलरेडी ठीक है ना वॉट विल हैपन इफ टू मच ऑफ ग्रोथ हार्मोन विल बी सेक्रेटेड अगर बहुत ज्यादा टू मच एक्सेसिव ग्रोथ हार्मोन कैन लीड टू जिजांटिज्म बहुत ह्यूज हो जाएगा ओके एंड लेस अमाउंट ऑफ ग्रोथ हार्मोन विल लीड टू डॉर्फिज्म शॉर्ट एंड साइज ठीक है लेट मी गिव यू अ वेरी क्लासिक एग्जांपल ऑफ डिजांटिज्म हाइपर सेक्रेशन ऑफ ग्रोथ हार्मोन ठीक है सो दिस इज सुल्तान कोजन एट फीट है ना सो हिज टिल नाउ द टॉलेस्ट पर्सन एंड देन वी हैव ही पिंग पिंग ठीक है इज नेम इज ही पिंग पिंग हाइपो सेक्रेशन हाइपो मींस लेस सेक्रेशन ऑफ ग्रोथ हार्मोन कैन यू सी दिस you can find this image on google okay and i'm sure a lot of you must uh, be knowing about him if uh, knowing about her if you are especially from maharashtra jyoti amge right she is a world uh, record holder of being shortest woman in india okay okay so sometimes when we feel that situations are not in our favor probably god is thinking uh, something good about us yep okay okay so this is an example is it clear bachcho is it clear ठीक है। आई एम रिपीटिंग वन मोर टाइम पिट्यूटरी ग्लैंड इज लोकेटेड अटैच टू द हाइपोथैलेमस ठीक है एंड इट्स फंक्शन इज टू कंट्रोल द ग्रोथ सो इट रिलीज इज ग्रोथ हार्मोन ठीक है ग्रोथ हार्मोन को रिलीज करता है ठीक है इट इज रिफर्ड टू एज मास्टर ग्लैंड बिकॉज द हार्मोन सेक्रेटेड फ्रॉम पिट्यूटरी ग्लैंड विल कंट्रोल द फंक्शनिंग ऑफ अदर एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड सो बेसिकली पिट्यूटरी ग्लैंड कंट्रोल द फंक्शन ऑफ अदर ग्लैंड ठीक है क्लियर ठीक है कैन यू सो दिस पिक्चर वेर इट इज लोकेटेड डिग्ञ ना सबको हेयर अटैच टू हाइपोथैलेमस <coughs> this one <coughs> clear okay so let's look at this picture try to identify and now where which one is pituitary gland is one pituitary gland kaun sa hai socho zara sochna zara look at this diagram very carefully okay i will give you a hint uh a nahi hai okay a is not i am removing one option so no one will choose option a ठीक है, आई हैव मेड इट इजी फॉर यू गाइस। चलो नाउ आंसर करो बच्चों। टेक योर टाइम इट्स ओके यू गिविंग रॉन्ग आंसर वाह वेरी गुड lot of you are close to become challengers and lot of you are close to become masters students who join late it's okay okay stay connected okay uh stay connected and collect lot of points and get the tag okay one more question a lot of you will become challengers right so this is how amazing our body is a small tiny structure p shaped structure is going to control your growth khud to grow nahi kar raha hai hamare growth ko control karta hai fun isn't it <clears throat> ओके वेरी गुड हाउ मेनी यू गॉट योर नेम ऑन द लीडर बोर्ड चलो बहुत ही बढ़िया करेक्ट आंसर इज बी ठीक है सी इज हाइपोथैलमस एंड बी इज पिट्यूटरी ग्लैंड यू कैन सी द स्ट्रक्चर ठीक है चलो आई हैव गिवन यू कलरफुल स्ट्रक्चर इन यू स्कूल एग्जामिनेशन ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट स्ट्रक्चर विल कम ठीक है क्लियर ठीक है दिस इज द लीडर बोर्ड वन मोर क्वेश्चन एंड लॉट ऑफ यू विल बिकम चैलेंजेस हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट द मास्टर्स एंड चैलेंजेस टैग हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट मास्टर्स एंड चैलेंजेस टैग डू यू So let's do a very easy peasy lemon squeezy question. But I'm going to give you only 45 seconds for this question. Pituitary pituitary gland resembles what in terms of its size? Okay? Only 45 seconds. Your time starts now. Do not answer in the chat box. interesting Ten more seconds no 15 more seconds actually cool very good most of you answered it already that's nice come on bachcho quick 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 
five more students need to answer <clears throat> is it this, is, is it in the shape of a carrot no is it in the shape of a pumpkin no is it in the shade of, shape of kidney bean is it in the shape of kidney bean rajma no as the name suggests rajma or kidney bean ke shape ka kaun sa organ hota what do you think bachcho which organ is the is in the shape of rajma or kidney bean batao kidney acha so then tell me one thing hai na let me give you a very interesting pun if rajma is called kidney beans to what do you think what came first what what was identified first rajma or kidney पहले क्या पता चला था राजमा या किडनी सोचना इसके बारे में ठीक है एनीवे द आंसर इज बी पी ठीक है चलो दिस इज द लीडर बोर्ड लॉट ऑफ यू गॉट द मास्टर्स एंड चैलेंजेस टैग कांग्रेचुलेशंस ऑल राइट लेट्स कंटिन्यू द नेक्स्ट टॉक एंड व्हिच आई एम गोना डिस्कस ओके इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इट्स रियली रियली इंटरेस्टिंग एंड द ऑर्गन नेम इज पैंक्रियास नाउ व्हाई एम टेलिंग यू इट्स इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज़ इट इज यू नो हैविंग बोथ एंडोक्राइन एंड एक्सोक्राइन फंक्शन दोनों काम होता है इसका ठीक है It is having both endocrine and exocrine function. So now, either kaha hai na udhar kaha hai. It is in the middle. It is performing the function of both, and that's why because of this nature, it is called as heterocrine or mixed gland. Really, really, really important question. Okay, pancreas are heterocrine or mixed gland because they perform the function both endocrine and exocrine function. Okay, since we are studying about endocrine, right? I will tell you the endocrine function. So it control hormones. it releases very important hormones like insulin and glucagon which controls the blood glucose theek hai blood glucose ko control karne mein help karta hai means if someone is having diabetes agar kisi ko diabetes hai that means there is some problem in pancreas with the secretion of these hormones okay have you met someone who is having diabetes i'm sure sabke ghar mein aaj tak kisi na kisi ko diabetes hota hai i'm sure lord lord all of you yes everyone theek hai okay diabetes uh, is becoming very common these days because of our diet and lifestyle and as i say it's not only because ki sirf meetha khane se hota hai if you are consuming too much of carbohydrate or fat rich food okay finally it is getting converted into sugar form so it is going to affect the blood sugar level theek hai to aisa nahi ki sirf meetha khane se hota hai theek hai people having diabetes they are not allowed to eat rice or you know some maida stuff okay or some outside food like pizza wagera theek hai or lot of carbohydrate and fat rich stuff cool theek hai is it clear so uh, pancreas right this one is pancreas this green structure theek hai ye kya hai liver hai to ye ho gaya pancreas theek hai so leaf like structure tha basically something like this okay this is pancreas so pancreas uh, is having both uh, endocrine and exocrine function theek hai is it clear what is the exocrine function of pancreas it helps in digestion remember i told you glands help in digestion so this help in digestion it releases enzymes like trypsin and amylase which will help in digestion theek okay? hai digestion mein help karega which you will study in higher classes theek okay? hai you will study in class 10 okay ab itna hi yaad rakhna the thing which you need to keep in mind is that pancreas are heterocrine or mixed gland so they act as both endocrine and exocrine okay is it clear bachcho is it clear chalo bahut hi badhiya theek hai Would you guys like to solve a question? A question solve करोगे? चलो. Okay. Okay. हाँ. One more thing. <clears throat> Since there are two hormones, insulin and glucagon. ठीक है. So insulin. <coughs> this is important. Insulin will reduce the will decrease the blood glucose level. जो blood glucose level है उसको ये कम करेगा. ठीक है कम करेगा एंड ग्लूकागोन इफ यू नो ब्लड ग्लूकोज लेवल विल बी टू लो तो ये भी प्रॉब्लम हो जाएगा ठीक है सो ग्लूकागोन उसको बढ़ाएगा ऐसा समझ लो ठीक है सो इंसुलिन इज बेसिकली यू नो मोर इंपॉर्टेंट यू कैन से लाइक पीपल हैविंग डायबिटीज और डायबिटिक पर्सन दे आर हैविंग हाई ब्लड ग्लूकोज लेवल सो दे टेक इंसुलिन शॉट्स इंसुलिन शॉट्स लेते हैं वो ठीक है ग्लूकागोन शॉट्स नहीं इंसुलिन शॉट्स ओके इज इट क्लियर इज इट क्लियर ये याद रखना दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है चलो देन Let's continue. Huh. Why pancreas a mixed gland? What do you think, bacho? Read the options and then answer. So the first question which can come in your exam is a uh, why pancreas a mixed gland? This important question. Okay. They can ask you what a target site. One mark a question. Target site. What is that? Okay. And name of the endocrine glands or why endocrine glands are ductless glands. Okay. <clears throat> That's nice. Lot of your masters and challengers.
बच्चों रीड ऑल द ऑप्शन आई थिंक देर इज सम ग्लिच सो द करेक्ट आंसर इफ यू हैव रिटर्न ए योर आंसर इज करेक्ट even even though it's showing wrong it's okay some technical glitch i will take care of it correct answer is a pancreas are called as mixed gland because they have both exocrine and endocrine function dono function hota hai exocrine and endocrine function theek hai how many of you selected a how many of you selected a beta yahi to garbar kar diya na yahi pe garbar kar diya you have to read the option now why option b will be correct because this is endocrine function है कि नहीं दिस इज एंडोक्राइन फंक्शन वाई ऑप्शन सी विल ऑल्सो बी करेक्ट बिकॉज इट इज एक्सोक्राइन फंक्शन दैट्स वाई ऑलवेज रीड ऑल द ऑप्शन सो करेक्ट आंसर इज डी बेसिकली ऑल ऑफ द जेवी यू चूज द ए ऑप्शन बट दैट इज रॉन्ग हाफ करेक्ट ऑनली ठीक है सो डी इज करेक्ट ओके बी केयरफुल आई गिव यू दिस क्वेश्चन टू कंफ्यूज यू गाइज एंड यू गाइज गॉट कंफ्यूज दैट्स हाउ द एग्जामिनर विल डू ओके ऑप्शन सी नहीं होगा बेटा इट इज आस्किंग मिक्सड मिक्स दोनों की वजह से इट्स ओके सर्वे इज नॉट टू बी सैड ओके चलो ठीक है ओके नाउ हाउ मेनी फिल नो दैट वी हैव अ हैप्पी हार्मोन एंड लव हार्मोन हाउ मेनी फिर फीलिंग हैप्पी राइट नाउ कितने लोग खुश हो हाउ मेनी फिर हैप्पी द स्टूडेंट्स हु गॉट टू सी देयर नेम ऑन द लीडर बोर्ड कितने लोग हैप्पी हो ठीक है सो राइट नाउ यू आर सेक्रेटिंग अ हैप्पी हार्मोन ठीक है एंड डू यू लव योर पेरेंट्स बच्चों डू यू लव योर पेरेंट्स और योर सिब्लिंग्स और योर फ्रेंड्स है ना सो एट दैट टाइम वी आर सेक्रेटिंग अ लव हार्मोन so there's a special hormone called as love hormone which is oxytocin theek hai <clears throat> so if you hug your loved one for 20 seconds ha huh? like mummy se papa se friend se bhai se behan se if you're hugging them for 20 seconds you're secreting oxytocin theek hai so it is suggestible that if you really want to show someone love theek hai kisi se aap pyar jatana chahte ho it can be your parents your grandparents your any family person at least hug them for 20 seconds okay so oxytocin is a love hormone is it clear What controls brain? Brain 